We have a number of different uh, suppliers, and so we will specify that to them a chemistry range that we're looking for. We know that the majority of the steel that we get, we can use in a number of different applications and achieve a number of different types of steel by, by how we treat it within the mill. So we can do very clever things in terms of how we roll it. We can do clever things in terms of uh, heat treatment. And through that, we can get different material properties. And mainly it's the material properties that the customers are interested in. If you use just an as-cast product, then the internal structure is pretty awful. You have these grains within, uh, crystal grains within your, your material, and they'll be very large, but also you'll have some level of porosity. So you'll have almost little gaps inside your steel. So the process of rolling that is working that steel. So it's, it's breaking down the structure you had. So you've heated up that steel and then you're rolling it. You're breaking down that internal structure. So you're breaking down those grains in order to refine that grain size. So you end up with much, much smaller grains, effectively squeezing that. Uh, slab down to smaller plates, then you're also sealing up any kind of internal porosity or any issues within there. So that whole process of rolling is improving the grain structure that you have on your plate and therefore giving you much, much better properties. And you're rolling that down from, from a thick slab of maybe 230 millimetres or, or, or 300 millimetres and rolling that down to a final plate thickness of, of a, for us anywhere between about 15 mil and 150 mil would be our regular sizes. There's only so long that people will accept accept someone going, well, that's not possible. If they can make the same thing with less steel, let's say, if they can if they can put a, a structure out in you know that, that can survive minus eighty degrees, you know, in the middle of the Arctic, there's always people trying to, to progress things. And so in terms of our customers, they're constantly trying to push the boundaries of, of what the steel can do. And so we're working with them to try and understand their requirements. In some cases, perhaps our steel can already do some of the things that they want it to do. But in some cases, it might be finding ways that either we can improve existing steel or perhaps even develop new grades, develop new steels or new processes in order to get the, the better results that the, the customer needs.